This is Kentucky FA Executive Secretary Matt Colliff. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an SAE within the AET system. So we're logged in today as Gabrielle Jones. Gabrielle is a freshman and FFA member, and she's getting ready to set up her SAE project. Now, before she can do that, she's obviously going to have had a conversation with her advisor uh, about her SAE and what she might want to do, and she's going to have a conversation with her parents in terms of what she can do, what they will support her in doing, what what resources they have and that kind of thing. So Gabrielle, we're going to assume has has already done that, talked to advisor, talked to mom and dad, our parent or guardian, and she's ready to set up, she's going to set up three different SAE projects today. One of those is going to be chickens. Uh, she's raising chickens and selling eggs. Uh, she's doing placement at a flower shop, and then she's also going to do some volunteer work at the local food bank. So to set up her SAE projects, she's going to log in and she's going to click on profile. And she's going to click here in the center on project experience manager. So we're going to add three new projects. We're going to start by add new. And this is going to be, Gabrielle's going to name her chicken project poultry production. She can name it egg production or whatever she wanted to, but this one we're going to name poultry production. This is going to be, we've got to pick a category down here. So this is going to be entrepreneurship because Gabrielle owns the chickens and she's going to get the money uh, from selling the eggs. So in that case, that's going to make it entrepreneurship or ownership. So Gabrielle is going to check this box. In the primary experience category, she's going to select animal systems because it's poultry. She's going to select poultry. Uh, in this box and then category head of poultry we're going to actually do uh, head of production we You're going to uh, we're going to add placement. This is going to be a placement at a flower shop. So she's going to do uh, placement at um, Mount Vernon Florist. Okay, she could title that however she wanted to, placement at Tractor Supply or placement at Kroger or whatever the case might be. Um, but again, she's going to come down here now since she's working for someone else and she's getting paid for it. That's what's known as a paid placement. So we're going to click on paid placement for Gabrielle. Then we're going to choose an experience category. Um, flowers could fall under plant systems or under agribusiness, depending on how you look at it. She's going to categorize it as plant systems, though. Um, and under grain crops, she's going to go down here and or under uh, subcategories, she's going to click on floriculture. Okay, she can always go back and update these if she wants to later on. She realizes maybe I got it wrong or I, I got something um, different than I should have, so she can always fix that. But she's going to click on save, and now she has her second project set up. Again, everything is going to show as red, uh, but she is ready to go with this. Now we're going to add one more. And this is going to be for her volunteer work. So she is volunteering at the, um, we're going to say, um, at the Community Food Bank. So we're going to put in Community Food Bank is the name of the project. That's going to be service learning. Um, and this is going to be, we're going to call it an unpaid placement. Now, depending on what, Gabrielle, we're going to assume she's done this a while and she knows she's going to continue doing it. So she click unpaid placement. Now, if Gabrielle was just trying out the community food bank and going to work there maybe two or three Saturdays and see if she liked it, she could click foundational for that. And that's just a way to keep track of things you're doing uh, to sort of figure out what you like and, and what you want to do. But in this case, Gabrielle's already decided she likes the food bank and she's going to work there some. So we're going to click on unpaid placement. That's going to help us do that. For our primary experience category, uh, we've got to pick one. Now this one's just a little bit different because it's it's a food bank. Um, we're going to pick for Gabrielle 
uh, we're going to pick food products and processing systems, but she could obviously pick one of the others. Um, agribusiness might be a good fit or education and communi communication could also be a fit there for her. But we're going to pick food products uh, for Gabrielle. Primary categories, food science. So we're going to click on save. <clears throat> Gabrielle now has three SAE projects set up. Uh, in a later video, we'll show you how to put in some additional information uh, for Gabrielle's projects. But I would like to show you right now some a tool that Gabrielle can use in terms of planning. So if we click on this pencil icon, it's going to open up an SAE plan for Gabrielle. So Gabrielle can go in and she can talk about, she can make a plan for her project uh, that she can share with her advisor, that she can share with her teacher, uh, that she can use in the future sort of to to mark against and see how much she's accomplished. So Gabrielle can go down here and she can type out her plan. So I plan to volunteer four hours per month at the local food bank. Now she can add skills that she wants to learn. I hope to learn about working with people or about logistics management or whatever the case might be. She can say um, if it was a paid project, for example, she could talk about uh, her rate of pay or the skills she was hoping to learn, but she can go in here and add all that information. She can also come up here and talk about her goals for the project, any of that that she wants to.